Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. That's right. You can email me questions to chris at perillo.com. And Brad Stevens from New Zealand did just that the other day. He says, I really enjoy the work you do and the entertainment you provide. Well, work, that's questionable. Entertainment, hardly. My question to you is a bit open-ended, but I would be very interested on your views to do with this so-called e-charity. Applications like SETI at Home, do you see them as having a place in the future and contributing greatly to society? Or are they just a passing fad that seem good, but really do so little that they don't matter? Well, Brad, uh, I think the concepts behind programs like SETI at Home are good. In fact, I think that is the future of computing. And to put a finer point on it, SETI at Home is linked with SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Obviously, there's no intelligence in this room. Uh, it is something that you can install on your computer, and when you're not using your computer, well, it's just sitting there pretty much doing nothing. It would run this screensaver and essentially crunch the data that SETI was collecting. So SETI themselves, as an organization, has about that many computers. But by allowing the entire world to run their screensavers and help them do the computing or kind of cluster their computing cycles and using all these spare CPU cycles, they can grow their ability to this much. So there's their limited capacity here. They allow more people to crunch those numbers and suddenly they can get to the answers that they seek quicker by distributing that computing power. So the concept, I think, is very strong. Grid computing, clustering, uh, is certainly the way uh, of the future with computing. Uh, because let's say, let's take it down to a more practical level. Now, we're not there yet. There are some software titles out there that will allow you to do things like this in a limited capacity. But imagine, if you wanted to crunch a video and create a video, it's very processor intensive, very memory intensive, if you had to do it on this machine. But if the software was enabled to not just use the hardware on that machine, but any hardware on your home network that wasn't currently being used, you could crunch that video in a fraction of the time. That's what clustering can do. That's what grid computing can do for you. SETI at home is just a way that the SETI organization can crunch the numbers quicker to hopefully discover well, what I assume is the absolute truth, that there is intelligent life out there. It's just course not in this room. There's also other organizations that do something similar like Folding at Home. Bawana is a supporter of that. Uh, surpassed one. Petaflop? Wow. Unbelievable. That's a lot of information and a lot of CPU cycles. Uh, a gig of, it's bigger than, isn't that a hundred gigaflops? If I remember my uh, prefixes properly, it's not a Simpsons thing. Folding at Homer I think is a Simpsons thing, but I think he, he accidentally put the R on there. Folding at home is essentially a way uh, to crunch through numbers to try to cure diseases quicker. Uh, folding is specifically talking about proteins in that, uh, in that uh, fashion. So yeah, I, I think it's an interesting idea uh, whether or not it's getting us to the answers that we seek quicker. Well, in theory, it should be because you're expanding the computing power from this size to this size, I think more software will become grid enabled uh, or grid aware, clustering aware, and in that capacity as our home networks grow, suddenly these single computers will become a lot more powerful using gigabit or faster ethernet connections throughout the home, uh, expanding the power of software instead of being uh, relegated to a local machine, it could then be connected to any part of the network and then gain a lot more hardware power. I realize it's a difficult concept to understand, but I think I hopefully got my point across. If not, well, again, as I said before, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence has obviously found nothing in this room. Now, if you know of any other distributed computing software beyond folding at home or SETI at home, or maybe you're on a team that you want somebody to join, uh, what do you think about this whole uh, concept of extending past uh, specific hardware limitations when it's tied to software? I think it's the way of the future in terms of computing power. What about you? Maybe I'm alone. Maybe I am truly unintelligent. I'm sure you're intelligent, intelligent enough to email me your questions, chris at perillo.com. Also, you're likely intelligent enough to stop by our chat room, meet people like Boana, uh, who's a, a really good guy. I don't know. I've, I think I've uh, 
I think I've given Boana a plug twice. I think it's because he tolerates me eating pizza in the middle of recording videos. Mm. Mm. I'm sure I just made everybody hungry. Sorry about that, but it's really good pizza. Uh, if you'd like to talk about computing in general or maybe your favorite pizza, you're welcome to swing by our chat room anytime, day or night. We're there 24 hours a day, even if I'm not. Plenty of people certainly are. Hope to hear from you soon. Until next time, we'll see you later.